This is Coogan Cassius for Eiffel TV in association with Macklin's Jim Marbella. We're at the press conference here for Bad Intentions, Joshua vs. White, on December 12th <laughs> at the O2. Yeah. What were you saying to Dylan White in the head to head? We heard some of it, we didn't hear all of it. What did you hear? Uh, if you can remember. You said your heart was beating, did that to you. That was yeah. the old Kevin Johnson thing. Yeah, old Kevin Johnson one, you remember that. Yeah, I remember that. So what was he saying to you? The stuff like injuries. We hope we don't get injured. We referred each other some physios, just in case, because we both got world-class people looking after us, just to make sure that nothing can go wrong ahead of our clash and that we're in good nick. I hope training commences well. I hope my training goes well. So that when we come together, regardless of the hype, you know, I want us to perform. That's the most important thing because the performance will determine how much of a build-up and how great the build-up was. This is the final, the final packaging to this fight, and that's why I want us to be in good condition, injury-free. So, regardless of everything that goes on now, I want us to be able to perform well come December 12th. Interestingly enough, that was the first time the pair of you have actually sort of come in a face-to-face -face situation in the pro in the program, isn't it? Yeah, correct. Correct, yeah. Um, I was pretty chilled. Another guy, another opponent, you know, two arms, two legs. And uh, we got we got, we got got something to look forward to, which is a British title. I was away from all the hype. We got the British title to look forward to. And uh, I'm hoping to come out victorious one way or another. Let me just clear up something, obviously, that was brought up in the press conference about um, some comments that you made in a publication, a boxing mm. publication, mm. Uh, in, as in reference to Dylan White. What did you or did you not say? I haven't seen the article myself, but... So, um, Dylan had been banned from the amateurs and had to turn professional. I continued in my professional career, focusing on myself. I'm not sure whether I was going to turn pro at the time because due to lack of experience. So I was really quite, you know, abandoned from that pro scene at the time. And then I was hearing that when Anthony Joshua turns pro, Dylan White's waiting around the corner. Dylan White's going to do this. Oh, huh? Okay. So uh, John Dylan asked me about him. And uh, these are the times when he just been banned for the uh, drug substances, the drug abuse, whatever it was. So I just said, look, I've gone about my business professionally. I went through the amateur career, the ABA is just like any kid, called up GB, went Europeans, Worlds and Olympics. Didn't come into the amateur game. Same for, this is the same thing I said, coming to the amateur game as a kickboxer, should have come in as an open class fighter, got banned for that reason. Turn pro, was doing well, had a drug test, and they found a substance that was illegal, got burnt. So I said, you shouldn't even mention us in the same breath. I'm a professional athlete. I'm doing things my way, he's doing things his way. So I don't mention us in the same breath. And then I'm seeing articles, I think it was with Frank Warren at the time. Frank Warren had a column in the Sun. The sun's read by a lot of people. So I think what his remarks were, when I said what I said in the boxing news, he had a, a wider audience and then I think that's where the needle began and that's what ended us up here now. Speaking to him about it, he seems to be aggravated by them comments by you because he can of... He be aggravated, so but it's, I'm just yeah, saying, it's, it's all irrelevant. With or without them comments, we'll be here now anyway. I think what you see in me and Dylan is two hungry young fighters coming together, so with or without the comments is irrelevant. We're here because of hard work and the fact that we want to go and progress in our careers. So that's why I think, that's why with all the comments or does my, am I rattled or am I upset or it doesn't bother me because I think we'll be here anyway with or without those bad intentions. Final question, what happens um, December 12th? You have to prepare for a 12 round fight because you're dealing with someone who's hungry and got pride. But my attitude ain't no different to the last 14 opponents I've faced. So I'm sure the result won't be any different. Just make sure you tune in December 12th. All right, I've got to cut this show short because we're Listen, all the way to Sorry to all the viewers, Coogan's been a bit busy, but you know, we're back now. We'll tune in and hope that I can see a lot more Coogan and I can give you a lot more interviews. Take care. Thank you very much, Anthony Joshua. Sweet, bro.